Welcome, to today's tutorial. We will be simulating temperature controlled fan using Arduino, DHT sensor and Proteus circuit IDE. This simulation also would be controlling a light bulb using per sensor, this is a continuation of our previous video on home automation. As seen here, the temperature of the DHT sensor controls the DC fan, it can turn it on and off depending the temperature of the sensor, and the speed of the DC depends on the temperature. Let us see how to do this step by step. Subscribe to our channel it will help in encouraging us to many video like this in the future. For the video tutorial, we are using Pertuse 8.3. You can find the files and links for download in the description link below. Head over to your Proteus and open the circuit IDE. When you do this, you have to create a new project file. This is very simple to do. Just click on it as and follow the next steps as shown in this video. Just proceed by clicking on next until you get to the schematic capture. Once we are in the schematic capture sheet, to begin, we select the component symbol and click on pick component button. We can search for any component's name that we want to add. But for this simulation we need only a few. We added the Arduino dev board, the PIR sensor, the LCD module, select this and select the LCD module. The logic toggle and the display for serial printing. You can find the Proteus library files for this in the description link below. We have to connect the components. We begin with the LCD module, this is connected using the 4 bits wire method. The VDD pin is connected to the power component and the ground pin is connected to the ground power rail. Ensure the per sensor gets VCC pin is connected to the power as shown here and all ground pins are connected to the ground. Connect the rest of the pins using the 4 data type connection mode. PLSC the source code and link below. Better and concise explanation of this connection is given in the blog post.
after this is done, the next is how to connect the relay so that we can use the DC power to control the AC power of the lamp. Please. Head over to the location of your Arduino IDE, open it up and go to the link below in the description to copy the source code. Pass this sketch into your IDE. The sketch tries to simulate the working of the PIR sensor when it senses motion which is the toggling of the logic toggle switch. So we write an Arduino sketch that senses this change, and the output pin of the PIR is cut. This is the source code we used for the simulation. It contains the libraries needed to pull off the simulation. Also this Arduino sketch has comment lines to explain what each code line means. And we have taken time to stress out where at each point the components are connected. Hence it will be useful to know how to connect the components on the Proteus. Compile the sketch and once it is done compiling, copy out the hex code address and paste it into the Uno on Proteus. More details on how to do this is explained in the blog in the previous video. Kindly check it out. After this is done, you can then proceed to running the simulation of on the Proteus Design and Circuit Simulator. When the simulation begins, the program codes makes the simulation perform as programmed. We can see the simulation is running smoothly the temperature reading on the on the sensor is the same on the LCD and the virtual serial print. This is in accordance with what was written in the Arduino sketch. Which was that once the temperature was less than 35 Celsius, the fan should turn off. Hence the RPM of the DC fan is reducing, gradually coming to a stop. And the virtual screen is also printing the temperature of the fan. Also the motion detection is also printed out. All of the simulation parts are working as programmed. We are able to simulate the temperature of a virtual environment using the DHT sensor, change that temperature, display it on the LCD and the virtual screen. Also use the simulated temperature to control the speed of a DC fan such that if it is too hot, the fan would come on and if it is too cold, it will turn off. And that would it for us on this session. Kindly, like subscribe and share this video to support. Please check the description below for useful link to the Proteus files and Arduino codes for free download. Thank you and see you on the next one.